This is Code.org. Let's see what we're doing. The Cities class contains instant variables for 1D array of the city names and a 1D, which is just one dimension, guys, array of the average annual hours worked by the residents. Okay, so here's the array, right? We can think of it as a list, not exactly the same, but sure, they even call it a list here. All right, so names of cities and their strings, they're in quotes, and then average annual hours worked by their residents. Got it. So here's the other array. Explore this program using the guided questions and the algorithm activity guide. Okay. All right, so using the space below, draw a visual representation of the city's 1D array of Java. Include index of each element. So a visual representation, right, of this. Well, what I could do there is I'm just going to copy the information over for now. Bam, right? And so here are our cities. Now, a visual representation, I might then, once I have this in my paper, you know, do a box around it and say one, another box and say two, except I'm wrong. Whoops. Zero, right? Because indexes start at zero. One, yikes, two, three, four. So there's four indexes here. And how long is the list? How long is the array? The array has five elements as the length, but there's only four indexes because we start counting at zero. And I would do something similar for hours worked. What else we got? Has least method is intended to check if all annual hours worked are greater than or equal to specified hours. What should be returned when the 1800 is the parameter? All right, let's check this out. Now notice the hours here. Were all of the hours less than or are all of the hours greater than 1800 no the last two values for boston and los angeles were in the 1700s right so does every city have at least that many hours no this would be false so what should be returned is false run the code what was actually returned and so we can see here the average annual worked in all cities at least 18 hours is true, which is an error, right? That's what we were saying. What should be returned is not what's actually returned. So let's take a look at our method. And what is it checking? Okay, we're looping through here. So for we're starting at index zero, which is great. Index must be the length of how many hours. So what's the length of this thing? It's five, right? Zero index, one index, two index, three index, four index. So four indexed items, but the length of the entire thing would be five because we start at zero. So we're going to count up. This means count up by one each time, but we always have to be less than the length, which is great because there is no index five. There's an index four of them, which would be the last number. Then what do we do? We have a conditional here and we're asking the computer to look. Hey, are these hours worked greater than or equal to hours? Mr. Kaiser, what the heck's hours? Right here. So what is that represented by? Blop. Um, let me go back over here. This value or this value. Uh, yeah, this is a different method. Has the least this value. So we're asking the computer, hey, as you look through this list, as you plop, 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 does that number, is that number less than hours? Here, hours would be 1800. What it's actually doing, though, is it's looking if that number is greater than hours. This is has at least. So that's fine. However, if it checks this, the second that just one city has more hours than the requested amount, it returns true, right? And once we're done, once we return true, guys, the method isn't running anymore. It returns true, it stops checking. So if just one city ends up being having more than the asked for amount of hours, then this whole thing returns true. And it should be checking all hours worked are greater than the specified. So this is not functioning correctly, right? It should only return true if everything worked is greater. And so to do that, we would want to check or return true at the very end. Because we know then, after it's gone through everything, that everything must have been greater, right? And then we would want to return false in here. Why? I need to flip the symbol as well. Is it greater than or equal to... 
Yeah, so and I would want to change this less than. Because when you return something from a method, the method ceases to run. It is done. Once it returns this false value, we go back over here and it prints out false to the screen. So if we're having it return true, the second one city has that has more than that amount of hours, it never gets through the full list. However, we can return false the second that a city has less than the amount of requested hours, because we know then that not all of the cities have that much. The reason we would want true down here is I know the only way it would ever get to this is, well, two things. One, we went through every city, right, because we looped through each index, started at zero, went through this, zero, went back to the top and says, okay, I'm at zero. Is zero less than, actually, it says, okay, I'm at zero. Uh, one, add one, that's what plus plus means. So zero plus one is one. Then it says, okay, is one less than the length of this? And it is, the length is five. Okay, go again, checks the next, checks the next. And as long as all of them are not less, so if one of those is less, it returns false, the method's done. However, if none of them are less than the hours requested, none of those are, then once the loop gets to five, once it gets back up here after looking at all those times and it says, all right, I'm at the four for index, add one to index, now I'm at five. And it says, is five less than the length of this array? Well, this array's length is five, so that's false. The loop is done, so it has to now run the next line, which would return true. So this would be the functionality that we're actually going to need. Boom. Using the space below, write code to update the average annual hours worked by Los Angeles residents to 1780. Run the code, what is returned by the... Oh, and so this is, okay, cool. This is getting a city, city with value of, by the amount of hours worked. And we could go look at that here, city with value of. We again do a loop through all of these values, and we're looking for one with that hours. Then, since we know they're in order, right, these cities should be in the same order as the amount of hours worked. And I noticed the issue here, these two are the same. Uh, but then we know that if those hours are equivalent, if, if those hours are equal, then we can just pop out the city's name at that same index. So it wants us to be able to change hours worked list. Okay, so write code to update the average annual hours worked by Los Angeles residents. Uh, it's lacking some specificity, so we could just do something like this. And what line do they want it on? Okay, they don't even give us a line. So I'm going to go ahead and put it down here after this code and say, uh, and then Los Angeles is at not index zero, not index one, not index two, but index three. So uh, worked hours at index three, I'm now going to set equal to 1800. Is that what they requested? Nope, 1780. Cool. All right. And then they're going to have us in Java Lab add your code to the hours worked. Below where hours worked is initialized, predict what will be printed. Oh, I should have kept reading. I'm going to just do a control X to cut this. Below where hours worked is initialized is here. So I'm going to paste it there. Predict, run the code given the previous output, explain. Okay, so let me get rid of that extra line. Let me hit run. And now it should say Boston. Boston. Why does it say Boston where it said Los Angeles up here? Well, that's because we're still looking for this 1779. And since Los Angeles is now 1780, that's what index three of my hours worked is. I changed it to 1780. Then when I look for 1779, it now gets to the end of the list. It doesn't see it here, so it keeps going. The reason before it didn't say Boston is because this thing, this method here, is going to find the first city with that amount of hours, and it returns it. It's done. It doesn't look for the next one. It doesn't say, all right, I found one. Is there another? It returns. And once you return, a method is done executing. And I can show you that Los Angeles is still in here. We would just have to do 1780. Bam. But that's not what they want. Pretty cool. This stuff is complicated. So if you're like, I only am half getting this, you're doing awesome. Let's hit uh, test and keep going. Onward.